So let's start out by looking at a risk management model. What these guys did, Bennett et al., they wrote a book. They got a grant from the American Psychological Association Insurance Trust. And what they did is they looked back to see how, what caused malpractice lawsuits. What in the world were the lawsuits about? Who brought them on? In what settings were they? What were the characteristics of the therapists who got themselves into trouble and so forth? So what they did is they put together P along with C along with D modified by therapist factors. And you're going to see how this works in just a second, so I'm going to go over it. I apologize in advance for those of you who aren't psychologists. They wrote this for psychologists, and I have to use their direct quotes when it says psychology or psychologist. I have no choice. So here's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at, in slide by slide, we're going to look at what patient risk factors came up in malpractice suits for people who were more likely to have someone bring a suit against them. So we're going to look at that. We're going to look at the context in which the event took place. Was it a solo practice or an agency? Um, where were you working? Hospital? We're going to look at the disciplinary consequences to think about what actually could happen given the idea that we are going to do the thing that might be risky. And then therapist factors is the most important. These are our, is our personal toolkit. So let's take a look at how this all works together. Patient risk factors, what they found, and they didn't make this up or get it from the literature, they got it from the actual cases that came before the insurance trust of malpractice. They looked at par patient characteristics and they found that complex, not in any particular order, complex PTSD, you know, a person who's been in captivity or psychological fragmentation and so on. Um, originally, Judith Herman was the first to talk about this in trauma and recovery, that this was a, a person who when they looked back and did uh, a, a post hoc, they saw these were some folks that did bring lawsuits against their therapists.